Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkwood. I hope you're having a beautiful day so far. Oh, Summer just woke up. Mariana's checking the weather. It's sunny today, baby. It's going to rain tomorrow. Friday and Saturday is going to be sunny. Mmm, Sunday is going to have snow. Monday is going to have snow. I forgot that winter was right around the corner. <laughs> Good job, Mariana. Good job. Why don't you go have a vanilla muffin, something nice and small. Summer, Summer, you can have a shower while you're waiting. Um, here comes Duke down the stairs. Where's he going? What are you doing, bud? He is going to preside over the royal court. Well, um, no. Instead, I would like you to practice writing. That would be much better. Rupert uh, is uh, acting agitated. He is having a hard time. 59 more minutes of feeling out of sorts. Well, can I click on you? I can click on you. You can click on yourself. And take deep breaths. Let's do that. Let's do that at the top of the stairs. <laughs> this poor little guy. Poor little guy. He wants to read a book about logic. So let's go downstairs. And see if we can access read. We don't have any logic books, really. Huh. Well, time for school. <laughs> Get the hell out. Okay, Argus is up. So, Argus, how about you use the bathroom? Because everyone is leaving. And then I would like you to clean the house. That would be good. Lisa is about up. So, Lisa, when you get up. I would like you to take a little shower. So now we only have to deal with the young adults. Lex, um, eat pumpkin pie. We'll pay the bills. Julian, how about you get up too? Continue to paint. Oh, Duke, go to school. Go to school. Whoopsie, whoopsie. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Happy medium, Holly. Happy medium. Okay, Kasima, you can get up. You need to eat. You do need to eat. So how about you eat some leftovers? Um, Lisa, I'm going to send you outside, darling, so you can tend to the garden. What a beautiful day in, in, the, uh, in the fall time. And then when you're done with that, I can, I can see a spotlight mushroom all the way back here. I'd actually like Lex. Oh, there are a few mushrooms and wildflowers. Nice. Nice. Okay, Lex, I'd like you to come out here and pick up, what is this? Pick up some truffles. Pick up an unknown rare seed. Um... Pick the azalea, and then I would also like you to pick up this spotlight mushroom. And then, oh my god, there are lots more over here. Holy moly. Oh, someone has, oh, let's harvest their trees. <laughs> Why not? Actually, Lisa, I'm going to send you off to do that. As you're our resident harvester. So come and harvest someone else's fruits and vegetables. We're kind of schmoes, but I don't care. I don't care. Maybe we'll get a real good uh, quality whatever. Lex, yeah, and then you're going to hand those off to your mom, I think would be the best idea. Get going, bud. Get going. He is working on his painting, Julian. Julian is. The kind folks at the supermarket cannot help you with your project if you don't attend their information session. I thought she went. It's a good idea to show up to events that benefit your school performance. Well, for fuck's sake. I thought she went. I was like pretty, pretty 100% sure that she had gone to that. Oh, thank you, Kasima, for doing dishes. Lex is picking up all this shit. Pick it up. That's a huge mushroom. It's like the size of a football. It's kind of insane, really. A little big. A little big. You got a seed. I want to give your mom that seed because I would love to have a plant sim sometime at this house. I think that would be amazing because I've never played with plant sims before and I couldn't begin to tell you how you would actually go about getting a plant sim. 
there's also another wildflower here, so why why don't you pick it? Why don't you? Maybe is there anything else around here I can pick up? I love the leaves falling down. That is so beautiful. No, no, no. There's another seed here. You have an important job here, Lexi boy, my gatherer. I wish you could gain points for being a gatherer. That would be really excellent. And then go back home. Let's go back to, uh, let's go to Lisa. What is she doing? Oh, she's still at home tending the garden. That's fine. Um, Argus, what are you doing? You're about to clean the sink. Okay, well, we're back at the house. You see Lex way back there with his unrendered pants. Why is he going that way? Come this way, you dork. What the hell? Okay, Lisa's busy doing that. And when you're done harvesting the neighbor's stuff, I'd like you to eat some pumpkin pie. And uh, maybe serve some pumpkin pie. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of insane. Lex, now that you're home, how about you use this? And then I want you to stand here. Actually, stop. Hammer time. Take some photos. See if we can get some of this up higher than what it is. Okie dokie. Always taking photos, taking photos. Home decor, sure. Sure. Come on. I just want to get the points up. I don't care about what he's actually taking pictures of. Television, nice, nice, nice. Go ahead, bud. Can we take a picture of Chief Lifesaver? Well, just take a picture of this. I think it still ups the point, the skill point, even if you're not really doing much of anything. Let's see. I'm just literally, literally just taking pictures of whatever. I don't care. Toys and hobbies. Sure. Okay, now that you're done with that, go use this. Good job, Julian. I'm going to hang that because I know it is gorgeous. I'm going to pause this. Pause it for a minute. Oh, that is gorgeous. Let's hang it right here. Let's hang it right here in the family study. Um, yeah, hang it. We will frame the canvas. That's gorgeous. I love that. Okay, Julian, you want to paint something worth 150 simoleons? That's wonderful. But what I'd like you to do instead is actually cook something right now. Uh, serve lunch. What's the most expensive? Grilled. Oh, goopy carbonara. Come serve this shit. Come serve it. Come on. Now, what does he need for his job? Reach level 10 of the culinary career track. That's good. Mood and cooking is most important thing. So once you're done with that, I'd like you to... Did Cordell age up? I think Cordell aged up. Um, I'd like you to chat with Cordell and then let's text him a couple of times. Oh, Kasima's had enough. And then how about we invite out and we'll go to Sam's Market Diner because that will help your work. Kasima, yes, use the bathroom, please. Yes, use the bathroom, take a shower, and then we will continue this book. Um, God, it's taken forever, this book. Horror books take a while, it seems. You would like to go bowling, send a text to Duke. Can you send a text to Duke? Go here. Ooh, blah, blah. I cannot. Get the hell out. God. Why do they all make it so difficult? Why don't you come talk to your dad? I think it's been a while since you've talked to your dad. So make a silly face. Um, ask about his day. Kasima has received an invitation to Dominic Shaw Pokes upcoming. Why is his last name different? Did he get married? Casual attire. I'll be there. We are going to go to a party today. F and right. Summer has met Corey Swain. Um, tell an inside joke. They're doing okay. Oh, Kasima, don't start feeling sick, bud. Don't start feeling sick. Brighten his day. Um, Chet. Um, we also need to get... Oh. 
The school counselor made an announcement on the loudspeaker this morning to inform all students that a buddy system is being encouraged. This new buddy system is to reward students who develop friendships with fellow students. I've never seen this before. You should become Corey Swain's friend to improve your school performance. Well, that's what we're going to do. That's exactly what we are going to do. That's great. Okay, continue with this. Um, Summer, how about you talk to your friends, which is just Corey. <laughs> Kasima, yeah, you're doing all right. After you're done with this book, I would like you to call Dominic and just chat, even though you will be going to his party today. I didn't see what time it started, but I'm going to keep on top of it because we need to go somewhere else and do something different. Lisa, what are you doing after this? I don't want you to cook anything yet. Instead, oh, we had an age up. <gasps> we had an age up in the last episode and we haven't risky wahood we have not so what we are going to do is after this is done brightening his daddy's day lex you're awesome you are awesome i'm gonna get argus i'm gonna get argus this want kiss lisa uh, Ba, 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 romantic kiss we'll have a kiss and then what we're gonna do is risky woohoo with Lisa see if we can get ourselves another baby Duke is our only one who's in the running to become the heir for this household no I don't fucking think so <laughs> we have more important things to deal with can I go after if I can go after, that would work out just amazing. What is she getting points in? Oh, cooking. Nice. <gasps> Julian. Rupert would like to go over to Corey Swain's after school. That's cool. Donnie Goodfellow's coming home after school with Mariana Darkwood. Um, okay, Rupert, research supermarket. Let's do her, bud. Let's do her up. Can you go now? Go now. Research the store. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Yes. Yes, be made out with. Um, I'd like to up her. I'm just not even going to care anymore. I'm just going to give them the wants that I want to give them, I think. Yeah, Lex, go upstairs and work on your painting, please. Thank you. Julian, yeah, you're going you're gonna to talk to Cordell for quite a bit and we're going to go out together we're going to invite him out to I have to remember Sam's Market Diner it's very important what are the kids doing Kasima when you're done with this we're actually going to go sleep when you're done with this and we'll wait until Dominic's party you're not going to be done with this it is taking forever go sleep for a bit then just go sleep <laughs> Cheap at least have a nap. Sorry, I'm too busy to talk right now. What the hell, Cordell? Extreme nap. We'll do that instead. This can go in the fridge. Where are you going? I don't fucking think so. Go pajama slam your wife, please. Jesus. So annoying. You have to risk you woohoo. That's all there is to it. Lex is painting. That's great. When you're done with that, Lex... Um, oh, Ginny's not on his list. I would like you to text Marigold a couple of times. Oh. I'm going to shut off. Um, yeah, I'm going to shut off the TV because Julian's actually going to go out. Ooh, it's thundering in the game. And we're getting, whoa, choose a destination. Okay, um... What was it? Sam's Market Diner? Where would that be? Uh, the Toadstool. Huh. Where are you at, Sam's Market Diner? I don't think it would be one of these. I think it would be like... You would see that it's a restaurant from the map tag. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Varg's Tavern. Le Shove Beach. It's <laughs> a weird name. Uh, Grady's Junk Stop. Hmm. Where are you, Sam's Market Diner? Where are you? Where are you? 
I don't know where you is. Here's something different. Red Velvet Lounge. God, everything's spread out in this town. Uh, Moonlight Falls Historical Society Museum. Um, H2 the O Indoor Pool. <laughs> Alistair's Elixirs and Sundries. Uh, where is... Sa okay, that road just stops. Where is Sam's Market Diner? Frig. Everglow. I think I have to look at all of these, which is really annoying. It's got to be here somewhere. It just has to. Zoom Sweeper Test Track. Don't tell me that this is the broom riding arena. Because I looked for it for like a million years before Sam's Market Diner. Okay. Going to the grocery store on an empty stomach is never a good idea. So why not stop by the diner before you shop? Okie dokie. Um, you are texting with Marigold, send her a friendly text, and then how about we chat, and then we will invite her, sorry, invite her over. I'm sorry, Julian, you're just gonna have to focus on something else for the next couple of hours, and then maybe we'll get him to go out with us a little bit later. He's definitely not at school, otherwise he would be available to a certain extent. Okay, go to the bathroom, and then I'd like you to watch TV. Who is home? All these kids are home. Duke is home. Okay, Duke. Grab a vanilla muffin. Uh, he wants to attend a party and check self out in the mirror. So check yourself out in the mirror. Um, how come he can't check himself out in the mirror? Why do I have it if I can't do it? Ugh, it's so annoying. Okay, do your homework, Mariana. Summer? Where did Summer go? Summer's here. Do your homework. Summer's here and the time is right. Okay, who is this? Uh, Donnie Goodfellow. Okay. Mariana, I'd like you to do your home. Pause, please. I'd like you to do your homework with Donnie Goodfellow. Let's get... A rapport happening here and what is this collect fairy dust oh very cool Donnie Goodfellow don't go playing with this ugh ugh um let's see here we'll ask him for fairy dust is what we'll do yes Argus go to the bathroom good choice good choice Argus I mean, eat something. <laughs> good choice. Good choice, Argus. Mac and cheese. And then you're going to use the bathroom and take a brooding shower. And then I'd like you to clean the house. What the hell? Why are you doing this? You need to eat. Eat pumpkin pie. And don't worry about your shower yet. And then we will have a shower. Take a brooding shower. No clean the house choices okay that's fine by me that's fine um that would be really sweet if lisa got pregnant from that that would be awesome yeah lisa just hang with your son for a bit uh lex you can quit painting for now i'd like you to try to get in contact here with marigold where is kasima kasima's in bed oh the party the party the party I don't want to miss this party because then she can get nice and tight with Dominic. That would be real sweet. Really sweet. It's pretty early, so... Come on, give me a thing. Let me know that the party is happening and I can go to it. Nice! Attend the party. Go to the party. Okay. Summer, when you're done with your homework, you need to eat something, love. Eat your leftovers of vanilla muffin. And then what I'd like you to do is contact Corey Swain, who is a, looks like a werewolf. Um, we will chat with him on the phone. Kind of looks like her bro, Duke. <laughs> we'll chat with him on the phone and then we will go upstairs. And No, 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 not go upstairs. Your bed's right here. Go to sleep. Mariana, when you are done 
with your homework. What are you doing? Do your homework. Oh, it's done. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, eat your leftovers. Congratulations, Julian's just improved his cooking skill to level five. The kitchen is really heating up, but Julian has met every challenge so far. A few eggs have been broken, but Julian is halfway there. He can now prepare stew surprise, a great recipe for using up old ingredients. Fabulous. Okay, so you're gonna eat something, Mariana, and then I'm gonna send you upstairs to your bed. Oh my god. Chaos has struck at the supermarket. While unloading a new shipment of goods, an errant forklift ran over one pallet containing thousands of puzzle pieces. The supermarket needs someone with a sharp mind to piece the puzzles together so they can put them back into boxes and put them on store shelves. Visit the supermarket and lend a hand. Absolutely. You're going to sleep. Um, what is Lisa doing? It looks like she's just standing there. <laughs> Okay, well, Lisa, in, in that case, I'd like you to have a shower. Get something done here. and You know, we're never going to get her lifetime wand. I'm being realistic about this. And then uh, start a non-fiction novel. We're on Darkwood number three, so get that one going. Rupert, how you going? You're coming home. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Julian, you can go, well... Can you call Cordell? Text with Cordell a couple of... Oh, Marigold, why? Why, Marigold, why? And then chat with him and then invite him out and hopefully he will let us do so. Lex, how about you chat with Marigold again? Then when we're done with that... Um, send her a love letter. That's sweet. Let's go see Cosima. Let's go see Cosima. Talking to Dominic. Is there like no one else at this party? It looks like a couple. Maria Yunin. Check back later to see if anyone has responded to your forum posting. Who is this? Natalie Maldano. They're friends now. Nice. Um, okay. Newest book. Dark wood number three. What happened next? Um, next, after Argus, we had a beautiful baby boy. And I'm actually going to call it beautiful baby boy. So it doesn't have, you know, so alliteration. I really love it. How about, we'll ask about his day. Um... We'll tell a funny story. Sorry, too busy to talk right now. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. <laughs> so don't invite him out then. <laughs> we have another hour. So what I'd like to do instead, Julian, is just text him a few more times. Text him three more times. Um, and then what we'll do is we will invite him. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Then we will invite him out. There's not a lot of energy Julian has, but let's do it. Let's do it. We need to get these romantic relationships happening. Oh, what I'd like you to do is to flirt with Dominic. I don't know why we're standing in his garage having conversations, but, you know, whatever. I'm not really going to question it. He has to go to the bathroom. Can I sleep over? Can I? Come on. <laughs> okay, Argus. What are you doing there, bud? What are you doing, bro? You need to eat something. Someone just became friends. Julian and... I don't know. Cordell, I guess? But weren't they already friends? I really don't know. Um, okay. You need to eat. Everyone's going to be heading to bed now. Oh, shit. God, I hate when it does that. But it pauses the game, though, which is a positive. Okay, where is this place? I remember it's... Oh, I don't remember anything about where it is. I think it's here-ish. Sam's Market Diner. Let's go. Um, Argus. You're going to eat? Okay, you're going to eat. And then you're going to go to sleep. Sure, that sounds like fun. Let's meet there. Nice. And then Lisa. Um... I'm going to send you to sleep when you're when you get a lot more of that book done. 
What is this? He wants to send her a love letter. Once he's done with that. Sorry, I got hung up on something. Maybe we can meet up again soon. You're a schmuck. Okay, eat the leftovers, pumpkin pie. And then Lex, I'd like you to go to the bathroom and take a shower and go to sleep. And then Julian? What do you need? Is he is he going to be there or no? Kasima, how about after that you assemble the puzzles and then you come back home and you eat something. A cake slice. And then you pee something. And then we'll decide after that. Summer's in bed the way sh it should be. Mariana is in bed. Rupert is heading to bed. Duke is in bed. So that little kid is... Donnie Goodfellow that's making all that noise. Okay. Let's follow Julian. And hopefully Cordell will still show up. That would be amazing. Sure, make yourself at home. <gasps> okay, nice, nice. She's spending the night. She's spending the night. So don't go back home, please. You're spending the night at, at, at Dominic's. Where is he? Where is he? I need to use your house for stuff. Not a bad house. Nice house. You are hungry, darling. So why don't you have a quick meal of cereal? And then I'd like to send you up. Not a bad house. Use the bathroom. And then we'll keep our eye on it and see where Dominic sleeps. <laughs> and then uh, you can join. All right, Julian. You really did. Well, let me see. Let's try to invite him out again. Invite out. No, 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 no. Stay where you are. Invite him out to Sam's Market Diner. Please tell me he'll come. Because I'm already friggin' here. I need to eat with others at this place and I can get some points. Sure, that sounds like fun. Let's meet there. Well, I'm already here. So, how about you come on over? I don't know why sometimes they call you back and are like, sorry. Because that really sucks. I'm going to get rid of this vault of antiquity and become best friends with Cordell. And that's what I would much prefer. Cordell, where are you at, buddy? And I might as well collect this while I'm standing around waiting. <laughs> might as well. And we can splash in the puddle. Where is Cordell? Where is Cordell? Julian just found a tiny space rock. It's valued at 19 simoleons. Oh my god. The weather in this game is making me so cold. Cordell! Whee! And I'm actually going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to give him a little bit of energy because there we go. Now you can only do that if you have testing cheats enabled on. Whoopsie. Julian. What's Kasima doing? She's still in the bathroom. Okay, cool. Go, go, go. Let's talk with Cordell a little bit, who is now an adult. Ooh, let's frig off. Let's make this happen. Let's make a silly face. We're good friends. Ooh, I'm so excited. We can flirt now. And we will tell a... Actually, we'll tell a flirtatious joke instead because Julian is a funny guy. So... And then we will compliment his cleverness. And then we will let the diner eat here with others, with Cordell. And then we will get that point. Kasima, what are you doing, darling? You're about to go to the bathroom. Great, great, great. Where is Dominic? Who the hell is this? This is a werewolf, Dwayne Wolf. There's Alexi. Alexi's here. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Who is this? Hello. Hello. Haley Sumari. Oh, she came with a kid. Never mind. <laughs> I remember at one point, Haley Sumari was somebody that I thought would be cute with Argus. Remember Argus was doing like a clinic in the graveyard. The one and only time I ever did a clinic with him because I find them so annoying. Where is Dominic? Where is Dom? Is he outside for real? Okay. When you're done with that, then how about we tell a funny story to Dominic? We got a little bit of energy left. We'll ask about his day. Um, I would like to flirtatious joke. That would be nice. Let's 
get closer to him. And you have to visit Sam's Market Diner to finish that puzzle thing? Okay. Um, compliment home. Come on. Compliment his party. Let's go back to Julian. Is he telling? He just told his flirtatious joke. It seems like it might be okay. Back to Lisa. Lisa is almost ready to get to bed here. What's this? She wants to make at least two fifty per week in royalties. Well, we're gonna get rid of this Waylon the Wolf, whatever. Throw a birthday party for Mariana. Mm. Yes, serve this. Fuck this. Serve the great meal. Shit. Throw a great party. Fuck off with that. <laughs> it took me how long to throw one great party? I'm not going to do that again. Nice. After 84 pages, Lisa is happy to say Darkwood number three beautiful baby boy is finished. It's a truly unique work of nonfiction that should appeal to a certain demographic of readers. Well, that's that's usually how it works. Um, she wants to see Mariana age up well. Well, instead of throwing a birthday party for her, we're going to do that instead. And then I'd like you to start one more book, but I'd just like you to start it so I don't forget what number we're on. <laughs> and then you will go to sleep. You will go to sleep then. Lex, okay, let's check everybody out. Argus will get up soon. He wants to chat with Mariana. Lisa's going to write a little bit. Okay, and then go to bed. Lex is in bed. Julian is out eating with Cordell, which is great. Cosima's talking to Dominic. Summer is sleeping. Cosima learned that Dominic's in a relationship with Angeline. Um, I don't think so. Mariana's sleeping. Rupert is sleeping. Duke is sleeping. So we're basically just playing Cosima, Julian, and um, uh, Lisa. Oh, come on. Go down more, please. Thank you. No wonder he's shot poke now. Oh, did he just pee himself? Nice. <laughs> nice. Um, watch this. I'm gonna do some daredevil something or other. She's not getting cold yet, is she? Make a silly face. Can I harvest his shit? No, I cannot. I'm gonna flirt with you like a whole bunch. I'm gonna ask to watch the stars. Julian, you're almost out, okay? Okay, so dark wood number four. Me and my toddler daughter. <laughs> this was when we adopted Kazima. Okay, Julian, where's Cordell at? Where's Cordell at? Yeah, I know. I'm. Yeah, I know. I'm just waiting on Cordell. There he is. There he is. How's it going, Cordell? Win Musgrave. Let's tell a joke. And uh, we're gonna flirtatious joke. Uh huh. I know you're getting tired. I know. Chat. I know. Friendly. Ask about day. Um. I want us to get like as close as possible and make a silly face. Genius. Deep conversation. We're good friends, so I might as well spam the romantic stuff now. Compliment his personality. Oh, he's flirting. Cordell, what do you think? What do you think? If you get with me, Cordell, I can feed you amazing meals every night. You don't get this waistline from not eating amazing meals. <laughs> okay, what are you doing? What are you doing? Are you watching the stars with Dominic? You are. You are. Good. Good. I am happy about that. I'm happy about it. Oh, yeah. I really like Dominic with Cosima. I think that could work out amazing. What's this about? Oh, she <laughs> she acted daring, so she got something from it. I'm going to kiss him. Let's kiss him. Romantic, heat of the moment kiss. Let's see how that goes. <laughs> it might not go too great. Lisa, how are you doing? Okay, you're already writing this book, so instead, how about we go to sleep? I love this peacock painting that is so beautiful. So if you want that in your game to have some some paintings that aren't the same six paintings over and over and over again, done in a bevy of ways based on traits, then download 
Plum's Painting Mod Replacement, I think it's called. Pretty sure that's what it's called. Aw, romance under the stars. Spending time looking at the night sky with a loved one makes your sim happy. Makes me happy too. I love laying in the stars with Eric. It is so wonderful. Let's see what our relationship is. You guys are both exhausted. So how about, how about we, um, we try to mount chicka wow wow. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it the old shot. Let's try to have a baby. <laughs> Why not? Let's try for baby with Dominic. See if he'll go for it. Will you go for it? <laughs> we don't need to have babies yet, obviously, but let's, uh, no, 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 no. Let's risky woohoo. That's better. Risky woohoo with Dominic. Oh my God, is Angeline there? <laughs> yes, do it. Do it. Oh, oh sex. Okay. <laughs> okay, Julian, after this, you're going to have to cut the date short. I'm sorry, buddy. I know it's going really well. It is. It's going really well. Okay, so what I'd like you to do is go home after that you're gonna need that Kasim is spending the night with Dominic hot 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 this is gonna be if this works out it will be our first woohoo with someone between two people who aren't Argus and Lisa so I'm pretty excited about it. Angeline's just standing right there like Oh, who's this toddler? Oh, why is that girl going upstairs with my husband? Hmm. Who is this? She's cute. Linda Rogers Tumbly or Trimbly or something. Hooray! Today is spooky day. It's time to celebrate, visit the fall festival, or grab some candy. Don't forget, it's the last day to trick or treat. So maybe we'll have to do that in the next episode, do some trick or treating. If I remember, because this is actually going to be the last recording of this session because I have a meeting with my business, my music business partner. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Dominic's, a, he's a pretty cute guy. They're going to make an interesting baby together. If they make a baby together, of course. <laughs> hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. He's cheating on his wife with her, but I don't give a fuck. <laughs> so Kasima might have a baby soon and that I don't mind because she does work from home and that's not a big deal so don't get back out no you need to go to sleep go back to sleep synchronize slamming and sleeping and Julian is in bed and he would like to have a throw a costume party alright I think we're going to have to do that is Argus up now Argus might be out of bed Argus is out of bed Okay, Argus, how about you clean up the house, bud? So because everybody is basically in bed and we're getting ready for the next day, I will close the episode out here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a beautiful day. I appreciate it so much that you're on this journey with me and Lisa and the Darkwood clan. It means so much to me. So I will catch you in the next one in episode 35 already. It's my longest running Let's Play. I'm so excited. We're getting closer and closer and closer to the second season and that I am very excited for as well. I'm excited for everything. I'm just excited. Okay, we will talk soon in the next one. Bye-bye.